فرح المخلفون بما قادهم خلاف رسول اللہ پیپل ہو ور لیفٹ بہائنڈ ہو ور گیون دی لیو اوکے اف دس از یو نو دس از دی کنڈیشن یو آر یو آر ان اے ویری ہارڈ سچویشن اف یو کین گو اوکے کیپ بیک ہولڈ بیک نہ ہو دیور دی جوائے سنگ یو نو دیٹ وی کوڈ ایزیلی ڈسیو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فرح المخلفون بما قادهم خلاف رسول اللہ ان دی آر سٹنگ بیک آفٹر محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وکرے ہوا یجاہدو بی اموالہم وانفسہم فی سبیل اللہ and they didn't like they disliked to strive hard in the way of Allah with their bodies with their lives and with their belongings وَقَالُوا لَا تَنْفِرُوا فِي الْحَرْ and they said don't go out in this heat look to the weather it's so hot scorching heat you have gone crazy you know they were saying to their brothers people you know who were related to them from among the moments where are you going you also go and and you know present a lame excuse and who are uzun uh, he is just you know years and nothing else he will accept your apology he will grant you leave why are you going in this scorching heat and you have to traverse this whole area in this scorching heat qalu la tanfiru fil har qul naru jahannam ashaddu harra tell them the fire of hell is most fierce the fiercest in heat law kanu yafqahun would that they understand only if they had the understanding fal yadhaku qalilan wa yabku kaseera so they should laugh little and weep much you know what is going to be their end they should start weeping start right now jazam bima kanu yaksibun being a recompense for what they have been earning fa in rajaka allah ila taifatin minhum fastazanuka lil khuruj and if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes you o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam back to a party of them that is when you reach madina back and if there is any another expedition in your lifetime and if they fastazanuka lil khuruj and if they ask your permission to go with you go out because when they saw the to oh, even heraclius you know he couldn't come forward he held back muhammad came with flying colors sallallahu alaihi wasallam so maybe that now if another expedition you know happens in your lifetime they will come okay we also want to go with you fa in rajaka allah la taifat minhum fastazanuk lil khuruj فَقُلْ لَن تَخْرُجُوا مَعِيَ أَبَدًا وَلَن تُقَاتِلُوا مَعِيَ عَدُوَا Tell them, oh no, you are not going to go out with me forever. You are barred. And you will never be fight, fighting any enemy alongside with me. This thing is finished. Matter has been finished. إِنَّكُمْ رَضِيتُمْ بِالْقُرُودِ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً you were pleased you preferred to sit back the first time why this first time this was the last time in the life of the prophet sallallahu why first time because it was first time that going out to fight was obligatory you failed before that it was not obligatory it was voluntary there was persuasion exhortation of all the sorts but it was not obligatory that is why nobody needed to come and apologize and present his excuses that i can't go due to this reason i can't go to this reason and that is why those who held back without getting permission you know the explanations were not, not called but we find that in ghadwa tabuk after coming back the prophet called everyone and asked why didn't you go the explanations were called so because this was the first time that going to fight going to war was made obligatory when you didn't go now it is finished forever faqudu ma'al khalifi now keep sitting back with those who remain behind wala tusalli ala ahadin minhum mat And now, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam never pray for any one of them. 
یعنی ڈائس ولا تقم علا قبر ہی نیور اسٹینڈ آن دیئر گریوس انہوں کا فروب اللہ رسول دے ہیو لاس فیلڈ دے ہیو ڈس بلیوڈ دے ہیو ریجیکٹڈ بمات ہوں فاسقون اینڈ دے آر دے ہیو ڈائڈ ناٹ ایز مسلم در مومنس بٹ ایکچولی ایز ٹرانسگریسرس ولا تو عجیب کام والو ہوں ولا اولاد ہوں And you should not be impressed by their wealth and their sons and daughters and progeny. Because these people loved this world, the life of this world. They were devoting all their time for earning money, earning money, gathering it, not spending it in the way of Allah. So they were rich. Well, a person who is devoting his time for the cause of deen, serving the deen of Allah, propagating the message, So he cannot have more time to earn. These people, they had more time. They loved wealth. And so they were rich. Now a rich man becomes prominent in the society. You know. And people look to him and listen to him whenever he says something. He's important. He's a wealthy person. He has so many heads with him. So many sons. So actually this was a very, you know, important matter at that time. in the tribal era but oh muhammad you please don't get impressed wala tawjib ka walahu wala auladu this ayah has been you know it came at ayah number 55 of this very surah with a very you know minor negligible difference wala tawjib ka amwalahu wala auladu inma yuridu allah an yu'azzibahum biha fi dunya actually what allah intends is intends is to give them the punishment on account of these very things in the in the life of this world they will be tormented psychologically due to this wealth only a small loss and they can't sleep for so many nights what is it they are being tormented and chastised on account of their wealth a son and he has done this he has gone you know in another direction He is not taking to the direction which you wanted him to take. So he is a source of agony for you. So Allah intends to give, him the, the, give them this punishment in this world. Through this wealth and their sons. This is the punishment. وَتَزْحَقَ أَنفُسُهُمْ And Allah wants that their souls should go out of their bodies. They should die. وَهُمْ kafirun In this very condition of kufr and unbelieving. وَإِذَا أُنزِلَ سُورَةٌ أَنْ آمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَجَاهِدُوا مَعَ رَسُولِهِ And when a surah is sent down, addressing the Muslims, have faith in Allah and strive hard with his messenger, side by side, strengthening him. اِسْتَعْذَنَا كَنْ أُلُوا الطَّوْلِ مِنْهُمْ Now those who are resourceful, who have everything with them, they come to you to ask permission. to leave to beg for leave wa qalu zarna nakun ma'al qa'idi and said and they say please just leave us so we should be with the people who are sitting back staying at madina radu bi an yakunu ma'al khawalif they preferred and loved to remain with the women who were staying back because you know this going to war was not obligatory for women So women were staying back at Medina. They preferred to be with them. What to be ala kulubihim from la yafqahun. And now a seal has been set on their hearts. But they don't have any understanding. The real faculty of understanding has been taken away from them. A seal has been set. These words we'll find again repeated, you know, in Surah Al-Munafiqun. Zalika bi annahum amanu. سُمَّا كَفَرُوا فَتُبِعَ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ فَهُمْ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ They did come to believe. They did taste, you know, Iman. But then they went back. We have read that ayah in Surah An-Nisa. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا سُمَّا كَفَرُوا سُمَّا آمَنُوا سُمَّا كَفَرُوا سُمَّا ازْدَادُوا كُفْرًا So that was the position. لَكِنِ الرَّسُولُ وَالَّذِينَ بَعَهُ On the contrary, the Messenger of Allah 
اینڈ دوز ہو ہیو دی فیتھ ود ہم ہو ہیو کم ٹو بلیو ود ہم جاہد ہو بے ام والے ہم وان فو سیم دے اسٹرائیو ہارڈ ود دیئر بلونگنگس اینڈ دیئر لائف بولا کلحم الخیرات اینڈ دے آر دوز فار ہوم دے آر آل گڈ تھنگس فرام اللہ سبحان و تعالی بولا کہم المفلحون اینڈ دے آر دوز ہو ول ہیو دی ٹرائمف دی فائنل ٹرائمف اینڈ دے ول پروسپر عبد اللہ لہم جنات تجریم انتات الانہار و خالدین فیہا اللہ has prepared and decorated for them the gardens underneath which rivers are flowing and they will be live there stay there forever forever ذالک الفاظ العظیم and surely this is the greatest triumph and this is the greatest success